We'll make this video short and sweet. Just one thing, one tip, one tip for Katie. What's up everybody, how you doing today? Oh, I am frustrated. So many camera issues. I had such good powder footage from the other day and I lost it all. I literally wanted to cry. It was the only bottomless pow day of the year. Ah! But uh, let's make up. And then I had mad camera issues this morning because I don't know how to like take lens covers off and other stuff. But Katie, hey, let's make a short and sweet video of one carving tip. You just mentioned it to someone else down the hill that was looking for carving tips and I like it. Then you de I was like, demonstrate that and I like it so. Well, Ryan, one of the biggest challenges or maybe mistakes that I see people doing when they're carving is they're not finishing the carve before, which as I said and mentioned in uh, other videos yep. that- In an upcoming video. In an upcoming video, it's so important to finish your carve before. So I got a little drill to make sure that you're doing that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go make a real big carve so that we're coming across the fall line and back up a little bit. We're gonna let our board run as flat as possible for maybe four or five feet before rolling onto our new edge and then starting that carve again. And uh, yeah, I think you'll be able to see it in the vid even though the snow is just terrible up here on the steeper part, I think you'll be able to see it. And then down where it's flatter, we'll get some, the, some there too. So hopefully that'll put a visualization into your mind and yeah, do that's big using the whole run. So do it when it's nice and empty like this and there's no one out on the hill. Yeah, today's a good day because there's really nobody on the mountain and we're gonna be using that whole hill. So make sure you're in a similar situation. Boom. That's pretty good and it is challenging snow in this, so. Uh, yeah, some really nice turns. I like that drill and uh, I, I actually recommend as soon as you get onto your toe side edge taking a glance uphill just for safety, um, but uh, uh, Definitely carving and one thing that I think about is like a lot of people aren't actually carving the people you see in, uh, carving are like instructors top level athlete top level pros and uh, Alpine riders and most a lot of people they're actually doing skidded turns back and forth and think they're carving. Carving's when you're leaving a single line in the snow, the nose of the board to the tail of the board, uh, leaving a single cut, following a single track. Mostly, if you're applying pressure, then it'll mostly be in an arc. Um, but yeah, what uh, you also just mentioned something about uh, ankles and knees. <laughs> right there, perfect example. Your so, knees and ankles weren't bent enough. My huh? knees and ankles were not bent enough, and especially when you're doing that drill, when you're flattening off and riding that board flat, you really want to make sure that you're bending through your knees and ankles. Yep. Okay, breaking at the hips. This this isn't quite getting low. This that's not low. That's just your head down. This yep. is getting low. And one thing I also think about is uh, when you are doing that, finishing her turn like she is, cut, being able to cut uh, perpendicular to the fall line. Um, it's like, uh, it's like then when you initiate that early turn, you're actually putting the downhill edge down. And if you're skidding your turns, you'll always catch an edge with that. So you, so it's kind of this weird, like finesseful thing, having your, you know, momentum cut across the hill to safely be able to switch to that downhill edge. Right. Let's, let's capture some of that in super slow motion. To super slow.
I think that I, I like that tip. Uh, nice and just kind of gentle progression into the turns, and then uh, after you know that will give a good feeling for that. I feel, and then uh, and then after that, like I, I obviously like jumping into my turns, hopping from one edge to the other. But that's probably an awesome way to just kind of get those started and the feel for that. Yeah, definitely, and the feeling of the coming across and finishing that turn. Yep, and not making speed. The gravity, the fall line, the two going too fast make you forced into skidded turns. So hey, thank you for the tip, Katie. Anytime, buddy. Thank you for watching. Happy Shred and smash that like button if you loved it. And kapla! Kapla!